So thank you so much for joining us today here You're very welcome. at You and You Married in this Ambassador Series also. So Canada is often flagged as one of the countries doing things right when it comes to immigration. And it's a very topical area at the moment. So I'd like to hear a little bit about from you about the Canadian experience with regard to immigration. Yeah, well, thanks first of all for inviting me. Very nice to be here. Um, yes, we do have the reputation for doing things right. I have to say we're not entirely free of problems as well. Mm -hmm. I have to always make that disclaimer. But uh, one of the reasons I think why our immigration system functions as well as it does is because it's uh, it's so old. We've been a, a nation of immigrants forever. Mm -hmm. Canada is founded on, on the immigrant experience and it's something that we've taken forward. Um, I think fundamentally the difference between Canada and say some of the European countries mm -hmm. is that for us immigration is part of our social fabric. Mm -hmm. in that uh, we are looking at immigration to sustain our demographic picture. Like most Western nations, Canada has a negative birth rate, mm -hmm. an aging population, um, which if left uh, unaddressed, I think, would, re uh, would result in an inverse pyramid where mm -hmm. you have a, a lot of people drawing on a very small tax base. So we are actually looking at immigration as a way to sustain our population. And we replenish uh, Canada's population by about 1% a year mm -hmm. with immigrants. So I think the targets for this year are somewhere between 280,000 and 320,000, okay. of whom about 10% will be refugees. Which is also something that, that Canada is often leading in. And I think for maybe some European governments, maybe others, they would say, well, how, how do you deal with social cohesion then, with having so many new people in a country every year, maybe coming from different backgrounds, how do you deal with social cohesion? Well, it's, uh, it's built into our immigration system. It's something mm -hmm. that we've addressed from the very beginning. So we have very solid integration programs. Mm -hmm. um, if you come to Canada as an immigrant through the regular application process, um, your knowledge of one of the official languages is already something that gives you points mm -hmm. based on which your admission may be accelerated. So that, that helps. But, uh, but we also provide language training for new immigrants. We provide assistance in finding, locating employment. Uh, we have programs for the recognition of foreign credentials, which uh -huh. is always a problem. And now this is still a little bit less than ideal. There are a lot of doctors driving taxis mm -hmm. in Canada. But, uh, but the programs have recognized that as an issue and are now accelerating the recognition okay. of credentials, also providing um, assistance, for example, and making up whatever qualifications you may need. Um, in terms of uh, social integration, I, I think it really helps that Canadians themselves, I think, see their identity as being part of a nation of immigrants. Mm -hmm. So you don't have the, um, the resentment of immigrants. We are all immigrants, I think. I mean, personally, I'm an immigrant. I wasn't born in Canada. I was mm -hmm. born in Germany. And... Um, and so, uh, so the acceptance is there, mm -hmm. and uh, I think the figures are quite, quite high. I think it's something like 75% of Canadians are completely welcoming of immigration, and the remainder, you know, with certain controls, etc. But, uh, mm -hmm. but it's, uh, it's a very striking figure. And uh, we also have um, programs within communities. Mm -hmm. For example, I think you may have heard of our sponsored refugee programs, the private mm -hmm. sponsorships where families or groups of friends or small institutions, schools, churches get together and sponsor immigrant families and make sure that they learn how to become Canadians, mm -hmm. how to integrate into the community, where to go for assistance, how to find work and all of those things. Yes. So it's something that we, I think, take a great deal of pride in uh, and yeah. it really engages um, pretty much everybody. Yeah. And do you have other special programs for the integration of, of refugees other than the one that you have just spoken about? Well, the, the private sponsorship program isn't just about integration. It's mm -hmm. about getting them to Canada yes. in the first place. And then, then it helps. Yes, our immigration department uh, does sponsor the language courses I've already mm -hmm. mentioned. Um, courses on or information on, on human rights, how Canadian law works, how Canadian civics work. You know how you how you vote, how you become a Canadian citizen, yes. and uh, and help you find employment as well, 
And uh, then, of course, what also helps, I think, is that because we're a nation of immigrants, wherever you go, you will find communities already mm -hmm. established. Toronto has little Italy, little Portugal, little Greece. Mm -hmm. and, and immigrants from those countries tend to gravitate into those areas so that they have almost an instant safety net while at the same time integrating into Canadian society as a, as a whole. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's really great that many of our viewers can also learn from the Canadian experience. And I appreciate, again, once again, you being here with us. Thank you very Thank much. You. It's a pleasure.